Plan Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. If you are not new here, thank you for coming back. So, y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but I have another import here. This one is from Aeroid Asia. So, I've had some really, really, really bad luck with imports for the last, like, forever, it feels like. But I am hoping that this package is going to turn out okay. Today's my birthday, and I had to bring my cat to the vet this morning. He's still there. I'm not happy about it, and I just really could use some happy today. Um, but honestly, like, my expectations are pretty low at this point, so. I don't know where my box cutter is, again. Can't find it, so I'm using a regular ass knife. Oh, these packages are such a pain to open. I need my box cutter! That's what it's for, to cut boxes. Hence the name, box cutter. All right, let's do it that way. So there are like air holes in this box, but like a lot of them were covered up with tape. So <laughs> I don't really know what the point of putting the holes was if you're just gonna cover them with tape. Highly recommend getting a box cutter. All right, so I feel moisture inside the box already, <laughs> which is never a good thing. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. I just need some plants to come not dead. So I've gotten plants from Aeroid Asia before that came fine. But this paper feels floppy and damp. So that's usually not a good thing. The package feels damp. It's a tiny box too. I don't know how they squeeze everything in here, but... I suppose we're going to find out. It's not floppy, so I guess that's a good thing. So this is supposed to be a variegated trio star. Stromanth. Stromanthi? I think they have it labeled as a Calathea. But, um, same difference, right? Aren't they in this? They're in the same family, I'm pretty sure. So... Let's get this damp paper off the plant and see what's going on in here. All right, I see leaves and they don't look black. So, oh, look at it, it's alive. This <laughs> is shocking. It actually looks pretty good. So this is actually a variegated trio star Stromanthi, so it's just got like a slightly different, like marbly, I guess you could call it, variegation on the leaves instead of more sectoral variegation. It's cute, it's super cute, um, and it actually feels pretty good for having been in the mail, it sat over the holiday weekend. Yesterday was um, Columbus Day. So it was sitting at the facility yesterday and I was a little bit worried about it, but I was trying not to. I try not to stress it until it's here and I've opened it and I've seen the plants because there's no use getting upset over something that hasn't happened yet. So, not mad about that. First plant is alive. Oh, this one has the name of the plant on it, but I was actually confused because it's my name. I thought they just put my name on the plant and spelled it the way that I hate, but it's not. It's actually an Alocasia Jacqueline. <laughs> so, in case anybody was wondering though, I genuinely hate it when people put a K in Jacqueline. So, I don't have a lot of hope for the leaves on this plant, but we're aiming for a healthy rhizome so that we can uh, 
at least regrow it. Because usually that's the case with alocasias. That's what I have found anyway. I'm trying to get this out of here. Oop, yeah. So the leaves are not like super happy. This one's definitely going to go. But it looks like it's an older one. Look at how cute. The variegation on these is absolutely stunning. I hadn't actually seen one in person until recently. Ooh, the texture is really cool too. And it was unfurling this leaf. It doesn't look like it's gonna come in very good, but um, overall the plant is healthy. So I'm pretty confident that I can get her back to a good place. I know that these are a little bit on the finicky side when it comes to alocasias but I'm hoping that if I just keep an eye on her, she'll be fine. I didn't know her leaves were hairy. They're like kind of hairy. I don't know if you could tell, but Alocasia Jacqueline. I wanted it because we have the same name, <laughs> even if it's spelled different. So there's that. This next one is the one I'm probably the most excited about because you guys know how much I love my Calathea orbifolia. And this one is called a fasci fasciata. I don't know, I've seen it with a few different names. I don't know if anybody really knows the proper ID for it, but let me show you. It's very similar and um, it's very cute. And my Orbifolia is probably my easiest Calathea that I have. I mean, my Makoyana is really easy too. She's like requires hardly any extra care. So let's see what this one looks like. It's okay. Ooh, it looks okay. Oh my goodness. It looks like an Orbifolia but it's not. It's hard to tell with the baby leaves. You never really know. Sometimes they send the wrong things. I know it just looks like an orbifolia, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So the next one I have here is a spathophyllum, which I've never had before. It's a variegated peace lily. And if you guys know, you know that I've been wanting one. So when they, this isn't sponsored by the way, but they did send me these plants for free. So when they told me to pick out some plants, um, I didn't actually pick this one. They picked it for me. They, they let me pick a few and then they picked a few, which is fine. Um, I was very pleased with their choices. This was one of them because I had been wanting one. Do, do, do. Oh, she's cute. We've got a couple of yellow leaves, but they're older leaves on the outside here. So we're going to remove those and we're just going to look at the happy leaves. Wow. Wow. Look at her. She's pretty. That's really gorgeous variegation. I don't usually see them variegated like this in the store. I don't know if this is a different... This is not a domino. That one has like more splashy variation, I feel like. This one's got like really gorgeous sections of green. So not mad about it. Cute little variegated piece, Lily. Lily, isn't she cute? Very cute. Now we just have to keep her alive. They came alive, now we have to keep them alive. So what's next? Okay, this is another one that they picked for me, but I had been curious about these for a long time. I just didn't want to spend money on them because I didn't know if it was something that I would be able to keep alive. And it is the Libicia species something or other. They call it the fishbone plant. I don't know, you guys will know what I'm talking about when you see it. Get it out of here. So I'm not mad, I'm surprised they were able to fit everything in this little box. The last plant I have here is definitely the one I was hoping came happy the most. 
Oh, these leaves are much thinner than I thought they were. Why did I think they were going to be, like, thick? Um, I don't know. It's cool looking. But, like, do you guys have care tips on this thing? I don't know why I thought this was a plant that had, like, thick leaves. Like, thick, fuzzy leaves. I don't know what plant I'm thinking of, but this is pretty cool. I'm definitely not mad about this at all. I have no idea how to take care of it but I will at least have something to watch after this while I go on YouTube and look for videos on how to take care of this because I would love to not kill it. It's a pretty cool looking plant, right? Isn't that cool looking? Very cool looking. So that is the Labissia mm -hmm. fish bone. Yeah, it's not looking super happy. We gotta get all these into water and rehydrated. And then this last one. This is the one I've really been wanting. They go for a lot of money on the market here. So this one does not. It's only $30 on their website. Most of these plants were around about $30 on their website. I think I have... I don't know do I have a code for them I don't think I have a code for them if I do I'll leave it for you I don't think I do but if I do I'll leave it for you so this is an aglionema commutatum I think that's how you say it um, and it's variegated bent but that's okay <gasps> look at it holy crap holy look at how beautiful that is look at this leaf look at this leaf look at that leaf and it's working on a new one that actually looks like it's okay like it wasn't damaged in shipping it might actually unfurl okay it doesn't have a brown tip look at that variegation you guys I'm obsessed with this these go for so much money that I was hoping if this one came healthy that I would order more of these for you guys because I mean seriously they would be more than $30 obviously because I have to make my money back plus the whole import process is not always fun but if you guys have been looking for these, let me know, because I'm not mad about it. Let's check out the roots, since this is the last one we're unboxing. Ooh, look at them roots. This is the reason why, like, looking back on all the imports that I've done, my plants from Aeroid Asia have not only come looking better, but they have just, like, survived life better than any other imports that I have. So look at those roots. Like, how does that even happen? When does that happen? And it looks like it's got two new growth points here. So it will give me some pups as long as these um, continue. And it's working on another one down here, which is good because I had a few of you reach out already and ask me if I was going to have babies to sell of this one when I got it, I know that this is definitely an in-demand plant right now and a lot of people are charging close to $200 for one. So, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. More than happy to take the risk and try to import some more of these for you guys while the weather is still uh, good for importing. I can't get over these roots. Look at those roots. They look like noodles, which is a good thing. You want your roots to look like noodles. Um, usually import roots don't survive, but these look like really fresh water roots or something along those lines, to be honest with you. So they might actually, they might actually make it. Wow. 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 I feel like that audio of what's his face saying wow over and over again. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's how I feel right now, you guys, because I specifically wanted to do this video on account of all of the import fails that we have had recently and because I wanted to show you that this is not, <laughs> that's not what always happens. Like, this is what should happen. This is how your plants should look. This is normal to have a couple of yellow leaves, but the rest of them looking good. These are the older leaves. Like, this is completely normal. It's also totally normal for the roots to not be happy, but these are super happy roots. We can open up another one and see what that's like, but, um, yeah, I just, I wanted to show you guys that when a company actually does things the right way, like, it doesn't have to be terrible. I've definitely had import fails, at least one. I got a box of dead Hoya one time from Aeroid Asia, but they sent me a replacement and those came perfectly fine. So I want to believe that it's probably the safest company to go with that I'm aware of at this point in time if you're looking for really good prices and affordable shipping. Look at these roots. Those are some pretty big roots. That's a lot of root. So not mad at that. Variegated peace lily. So you could see now that these are older leaves off the bottom here we can take them off they come off really easily because they are dead and um yeah there's that she's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous don't know how to take care of this one this is probably like the floppiest looking one but this is a new leaf so it, new leaves are just really sensitive. It looks like they come in a more like pinky red hue before they fade out to green. So I definitely am curious how to take care of these things. Like, do they like humidity or do they prefer being dry? They're probably thirsty just like the rest of this box of plants but are you surprised that it's not Hoyas you guys these plants just to be clear are for me like normally when I import plants I'm doing it for a little bit for me and a little bit for you guys but this go around I picked plants that I really wanted for my personal collection and like what a coincidence that they came on my birthday right birthday gift to me from me in the past <laughs> she picked out these plants for myself um they were pretty quick to get everything out i know that that hasn't always been the case in the past let me see if i can find a date here so they disinfected them on October 4th. Today is October 11th. So they were in the mail for a week, right? Yeah. They would have gotten here sooner. But like I said, it was the holiday weekend. So they were held yesterday. Um, I don't remember when we placed the order, though. That's the thing. So that's a copy of the phytosanitary. I don't know. But... The plants are happy, so you guys can see what it's supposed to look like when you import plants and, it's, and it doesn't go terribly wrong. Let me know how you feel about this variegated stromanthe. Let me know if you've ever even heard of this plant before. I wanted to get plants that were different that maybe you guys hadn't heard of before. I think all of these are really cool. Um, so hopefully you think they're cool too. <laughs> I just, I always liked the trio star. I just never really got one. So when I saw this one, I thought that the variegation was really unique and cool looking. So I'm going to get all of these out of their paper. I didn't show you the roots on this one. 
I'm gonna get all these out of their paper and into some water for a few days to rehydrate them. That's my Alocasia Jacqueline. And then after they've been rehydrated for a few days, I will move them over to usually a moss perlite mix. Um, sometimes either just straight moss or straight perlite, depending on the plant. But I've been having a lot of success with the moss perlite mix, so that has been my go-to lately. I mean, you can also just leave them in water to reroot them if you want to, but like I said, even though these are really nice, healthy roots, I do like to reroot them myself before repotting them. Sometimes it's not always necessary. I give it some time in water and see what happens. If the roots are not good, they will just like fall off on their own. Some people like to cut the roots off completely and start over. I don't find that to be necessary because sometimes you do get really healthy roots like these, like this one here might come off, but these really new white roots that you see here, those could potentially be totally fine and help sustain the plant and get it to grow sooner and, and faster than it would have. So I don't like to cut the roots off, but you do you, boo, whatever works for you, what works for you might not work for me and vice versa, and that's okay. That doesn't make us bad plant parents. You're not doing it wrong. You do it the way that works for you. So, Alocasia Jacqueline, and then my uh, Calathea, not Orbifolia. <laughs> I'll show you a side-by-side -side before I leave you. So, that is it for this video, you guys. I'm definitely not mad about it. I definitely needed some happy today. So the next thing we need now is just a phone call from the vet that my cat is fine and he's ready to be picked up. So yeah, hopefully that's as soon as I stop recording. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, uh, you should give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There is a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Come on over and join our group chat on Instagram and get all your other little perky perks for being a member. Um, I like calling them perky perks now. I don't know why. I'm just weird. It's fine. I said it once and I was like, you know what? I like that. I'm going to keep that. So, yeah. If not, there's a super thanks button. If you want to super thanks me and donate a few dollars to my channel, everything is appreciated. Cannot do this without you guys. And uh, yeah, that's it. Definitely go and check out Aeroid Asia. It is a good time of year to be importing. Um, again, this is one, one of the only companies at this point in time that I will probably um, order from out of Indonesia. I have not had good luck with other sellers. So there is that. What? Why are you looking at me like that? They're cute. So anyway, that's it. And uh, thank you to Aeroid Asia for sending me these plants. I appreciate you. And I appreciate you guys too. So I hope I see you in the next one. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. So I'm looking at it. The Orbifolia does have the thicker stripes. So this is just an Orbifolia. Yeah.